Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. In this super season finale thing, Jake, uh, I finally got all the flags and car or uh, what's it called uh, stars and uh, stamps and everything. So now it's finally time for the final world and stuff. And it is World Crown, which as you might have guessed, because I previously said like, oh why isn't it World Crown or whatever. Um, so here's actually the final Sprixy tent. Uh, the, which will give you the final stamp from the Sprixies or whatever, and, uh, and actually give you a second to look at all these stamps. Um, uh, okay, no, hold on. Let me, let me show you better <laughs> before uh, before I continue on, because um, like I said, that's the final Sprixy house, which means that's the final free stamp that you get, basically. Um, so then, let's go to map, stamps. So these are all the stamps that I've collected. Uh, throughout all the levels. I know I haven't really been showing you guys which stamps come from which levels or whatever. Just give you a moment to look at them all. Uh, and then there's, as you can see, uh, eight more stamps. Yeah. So, what these stamps are, I'll explain in a second. Uh, once I get to the Captain Toad's fiery something, what's called? Fiery finale. Uh, which is a nice, you know, term, since this is the finale of, uh, of this season of, um, Super Mario 3D World. Or at least, you know, I call it a season. I'm not really sure if you would call it a season, but, um, so let's see, gonna jump off right there as soon as I can so I can get that green star. And this is, this is one where you need, like, the best timing, because it is so close right there. Like, you have to know, I mean, I wouldn't say the best timing, but you have to be so quick on your feet. And there's also going to be times where I'm, oh, dang it, uh, where I'm going to need to blow into the mic uh, in order to uh, get these platforms. So I'm going to be, like, my commentary is going to be stopping every now and then uh, just to blow into the mic. So just letting you know. And actually, yeah, I do realize I could just talk into the mic, uh, but that's a little less effective. So... <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop talking every now and then. Uh, my commentary is gonna be interrupted. Just letting you know. And uh, oh yeah, I just realized moving the gamepad um, also affects. Ah, oh, dang it! I didn't blow fast enough. Uh, but um, also affects the camera angle. And again, I'm gonna try not to edit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try not to edit uh, anything out in this episode, uh, which of course may make the episode pretty long and a little bit repetitive and boring and stuff. But I don't know. I'm guessing you guys like it. I still haven't like. Uh, I'm recording this, like, again, like, five minutes after the last one, uh, the last episode, so I haven't actually heard any of your feedback on whether or not you prefer when they edit it or not, or, like, cut out the stuff. But, um, I actually thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if cool is the right word, but, um, I actually thought it was making the video better <laughs> when I edit it, uh, edit out the parts where I die, or, um, I mean, not necessarily editing out the parts where I die, you know what I mean? The way it was, <laughs> I thought that was better, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, so again, gonna have to focus and I'm actually blowing into the mic uh, this time and um, I'm actually still kind of just talking into the mic but I need to actually wait for the things to move down um, okay but I have to keep blowing to keep them out of the lava okay so there gotta actually wait for it to come down and then catch it right as it Right, so he has to come back down to then here. Uh, again, try to avoid the fire flower. Um, okay, that was close. But uh, now, I'm up here, and there's the stamp, as you can see. And then just drop down on top of the fire flower piranha plant, which I guess would be more of a fire flower than the other one. But anyways, that was a lot of uh, talking to the mic, <laughs> basically. And uh, of course, clear. Got the final green star of that cat and toad or whatever. And then I got a stamp for cat and toad. Which is pretty nice. Um, and then, huzzah, I'm done with all the Cat and Toad levels, which is pretty nice to be done with. I have 347 stars. <laughs> and uh, there you can see that um, that gold star. Uh, I'm actually not sure if it does it now. Um, yeah, it, it should show you now. Uh, let's see, on the map, um, those that green Luigi thing, that shows you which stages you've beaten with which character. Which means that um, over here, where now it has the gold star on top instead of the green star, that means I've completed that stage with all green stars, golden flag, got the stamp, and I've beaten it with every character that you can beat it with. Meaning, since it's a Captain Toad level, you can only play it with one character, Captain Toad. So that's why it's completed with the gold star. Um, 
So now I'm going to go to the Mystery House Marathon, which as you can see, there's a lot of green stars in this thing. Uh, which this, if anything, on this, well, I shouldn't say if anything, but this is one of the things where if I'm going to edit, it's going to be here. Which again, that's probably not the best way to describe it. Um, but uh, this is, like I said, Mystery House Marathon, so it's a combination of all of the Mystery House um, uh, dashes and the brawls or throwdowns or basically all the Mystery Houses. I feel like this is every Mystery House that they've given me, um, and some are like a little bit different, where uh, like now it's three Koopas instead of two or something like that. Um, and then here, you need the uh, Fire Flower. Uh, which I'm glad it gives it to you and doesn't just expect you to have it to be really lame. Um, but like I was saying, uh, here, I know a lot of these uh, levels very well because I've done this multiple times. Um, but there's still, like, oh, geez, I almost got hit. But um, there's still room for me to fail. Uh, like, I can still mess up in here. The green star is always in that one uh, crate. So if you just remember that, then. Um, then it can be a little bit easier. And I just gotta kill all those Goombas. And, uh, okay, so I'm like, not even halfway done. <laughs> ah, dang it. Shoot. Uh, I missed it. Oh boy, this is not good. Um, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Yeah, okay, that's close. But, um, alright, and then here, uh, it's always this one that turns into the spring, or you can use a cat suit to climb up there. Uh, either one works. Uh, and then here, just gonna get past onto the swamp and then come to here. Uh, a lot of these are pretty easy when you know what to do, but um, some of them can be pretty difficult when you don't know what you're doing. Um, and then this one is again pretty easy. I don't think I've ever messed up on this one. I've probably messed up at least once, but um, but yeah, that one's pretty easy. Then what's next? Oh, this one. Uh, get the cat suit. I'm up here, and uh, a lot of these are actually a lot easier with multiplayer because then like one person can go to the right to get that switch, while the other person stays on the left to get the gold, uh, the green star. I keep on calling green star or er, gold star. Anyways, um, and then this is the mystery house climb thing, uh, which is pretty nice. And uh, what I like about it, is after you get the green star, in case for some reason you don't have a cat suit or someone doesn't have a cat suit, you can get one under there. But I prefer to have a fire flower in reserve rather than a. Um, a cat suit because I don't think uh, I'm really in any danger of losing my cat suit here because there's no real enemies or anything. And again, glowy spot, you can use a good cat suit. But um, then here, another climbing thing, which will be halfway through the Mystery House Marathon, uh, which is ridiculous that it's only halfway. Uh, so let's just get to that one. Then what's next? Oh, this one. This one's kind of difficult. I mean, most of these aren't really difficult if you know what you're doing, but. Uh, could be difficult uh, again and uh, okay the bunny this one uh, is one of the ones where you can mess up pretty easily by not being able to catch the bunny and then here uh, uh, trying to throw that that actually doesn't happen quite as easily as I'd like all the time and there you can always just jump off the back of the wall you don't need a cat suit for that one and um, let's just get these bullies down um, which are pretty easy, but again, you can have trouble with this. Any of these challenges, really, uh, can be pretty challenging, obviously. And uh, here, if you don't have a cat suit, you're supposed to ground pound on those blocks to make your own pathway. But I just like to use the cat suit and climb up there, which I wouldn't say is cheating, because they give you like three cat suits. And uh, whew, that's close. <laughs> Almost ran off the edge. And, uh, and then this one. If you have like a Tanuki suit, or if you're playing as Peach or something, that can be kind of difficult because of the bouncing. But um, with anyone else, it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna throw that bomb now. Uh, just to, oh, dang it, that's not good. Um, come on, get that one there. And wait, that was really close. Oh man, I'm gonna take a second break. <laughs> um, okay, because the time doesn't stop when you. Um, the time doesn't stop when you. Uh, reveal the green star, it stops when you get the green star. Uh, and here you actually have to kill that piranha plant, which can cause some troubles. Uh, especially if you accidentally kill the piranha plants both before killing the fuzzies, because then you can't kill the fuzzies. Um, and then here's the green star. And uh, almost done. Uh, but of course, when we get closer to the end, that's when more difficult things start happening. And uh, here, I accidentally pounced off the edge here. I'm just going to walk slowly to show you. I accidentally pounced off the edge there and died, which is pretty unfortunate. 
uh, and then this one's actually a little bit more difficult, but obviously, again, when you have practice, because again, I've done this multiple times, and uh, here you only have to hit him once, don't worry, you don't have to actually fight him or kill him in 10 seconds, it'll be very difficult. Um, right, so the final one is actually not hard at all, uh, it's just a bunch of coins. I guess really the only difficult thing is fighting your greed to just get all the coins, which you, you get most of them, but, uh, and huzzah, final green star, and I'm really surprised I did that on my first run, because you have no idea how many times I had to try to do that when I was trying to do it with every character. So then there, it's a green star, or I guess a regular star, doesn't really matter which one, um, as your stamp, which means, uh, I think that was like 30, uh, <laughs> yeah, 30 green stars that I just got, which is going to take a while to finish getting, okay, 377 green stars. Wow. And uh, there you can see that it's a green star again because I have to beat that with Mario, Toad, Peach, and Rosalina, which is going to take a while. Um, and now, Champions Road, uh, the final level. Now again, I'm just going to remind you that I've practiced this level many times. Many, many times. <laughs> I've only beaten it a few times, but I've played this level many, many times. Having a Tanuki suit would be really helpful. Cat suit is nice, but a Tanuki suit would be amazing. However, for the, at least the first 24 tries, like until I get down to 99 lives, I'm gonna try with either just a cat suit or just a regular suit, or regular, um, no mushroom power up or whatever. So again, I've practiced this quite a bit, so uh, that's why uh, it will seem like I'm going through uh, easily, and that was actually kind of a mistake. Uh, just jump in here, and uh, Again, like I said, I've practiced this many times. I do actually have a few of my first runs uh, recorded, which I might upload as like a bonus video and put the link in the description or something. It'll probably be like unlisted, uh, which is why I would give the link in the description. But um, my first few runs I recorded and then sped up uh, because I thought that was a good idea for some reason. But um, uh, I didn't have any commentary over it, so it's just um, so it's just me running through it and. You know, I feel like I'm making this seem too easy, but uh, this is actually really difficult. Uh, it takes a lot of practice, and again, I, I'm kind of sad. I would be kind of sad if I beat it the first run through, because again, this is actually a very difficult course, and I don't want it to make it. I don't want to make it seem like I'm uh, like this is too easy or something like that. It's because I have lots and lots of practice, so. Um, so yeah, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> but um, let's see, I'm just gonna avoid like that, and oh, that was close. And uh, dang it, lost my cat suit, uh, which is unfortunate, but not terrible. So okay, this is, this is where, ah, oh, dang it, <laughs> uh, I got hit again. Um, that's close. Uh, I'm actually gonna get a fire flower just to be safe, because, um, oh, that's right, this part. Uh, this part's a little interesting because I use a slightly different strategy than I think most people would. Um, I actually bounce off or uh, jump off the back wall occasionally, which is pretty helpful. And then here, um, oh, that was close. Uh, here again, having a Tanuki suit or Peach might make it a little bit difficult because of the bouncing aspect of those. And then here, just getting in the water. And again, I kind of apologize if I beat this on my first try and make it look really easy. Because I'm sure some of you have been expecting me to rage on this. But um, I definitely was raging <laughs> uh, the first time I was playing through this and dying multiple, multiple times. Um, and I'm not going to lose on purpose. Like, if I actually can beat this on my first try, then that'd be pretty impressive to me. Because uh, I haven't like been practicing this recently. It's been at least a week or two. Uh, since I last played this level, so I mean, it's not like I was practicing right before the episode or whatever, but I'm not thinking it could hit. So it's gonna be unfortunate, but again, not, not fatal, not completely terrible, could potentially be fatal, but um, okay, so I've got two green stars. Uh, did I miss one? I feel like I missed one, but maybe not, I don't remember now, but um, okay, so I'm just gonna move on to here. Gonna avoid these uh, shockwaves of doom and death and destruction and all that. Um, move up to the side. Ooh, that was really close. But um, okay, here's the final green star and uh, the final challenge. Oh, 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 that was close. Running backwards. <laughs> um, or running the wrong way, necessarily. Uh, that was close. Okay. Um, <laughs> just gotta stay calm. This is uh, obviously much easier with a Tanuki suit. And uh, okay, I'm gonna get hit. Gonna take that hit and go through. And wow. I actually beat this on my first try. 
which uh, again, surprising to me. I really didn't expect to beat this on my first try. Um, which was another funny thing, because uh, I wanted to get my first victory on this level uh, on video, like I wanted to record it, so I was recording all my first attempts on this, and I was dying a whole bunch, it took me a long time, kept trying, 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 and then after I stopped recording, my brother was visiting, so I was like, oh hey, you should watch me try to beat this level, it's really ridiculously hard, and then I beat it, and I was like, really? Like, I beat it when I'm not recording, when someone's watching, like, man, like, I was... I was hoping to actually record my, my first victory, but unfortunately I missed my first victory on tape. So this is actually, I think, my first victory that's actually on tape. Uh, which I say on tape, but that's just obviously a figure of speech. Final stamp. And then, okay. I need to get this golden flag, which shouldn't be too difficult, but I'm just gonna get a good running start. Nice little good running start and all that. And then just nice jump, and there you go. Very easy. I am really surprised at how easily I beat this. <laughs> um, I, I honestly thought I was going to be dying a lot more than I did. Um, but yeah, that's that's it uh, for this. Finally got that last stamp. Good. Beat the final level, have all the green stars. Um, but yeah, that's all 380 green stars. Uh, and then well done, complete all courses played as Luigi, which means that I get a new stamp of Luigi, which means that those four other stamps are for beating every single level with every other character. So that's it, <laughs> I guess. I feel like that was really anticlimactic because I, because of how easily I was able to beat it. But uh, again, I will uh, include a video of my first few attempts, fast forwarded and edited together, I guess. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, because I'll just leave those unlisted for whatever reason. Um, so now, uh, yeah, that's all the stamps uh, in every level. I've played through every level as Luigi. A couple of them you can see, like, I played through that one as Rosalina and then as Toad, uh, as Peach to get that stamp, a couple more as Toad um, there. But so now uh, I'm going to make a sort of farewell tour, I guess, um, as I go through each world, um, not really a farewell tour, but just as this little season is wrapping up, um, I, like I said, I, it is a season of Super Mario 3D World, I do plan on doing at least one more season, um, where I'm either going to be playing through as Toad and just like speed running through it, or I'm going to be playing as Mario and I'm going to be carrying Peach through it, um, which I, like again, I can explain that better in another video if you want me to, but um, I'd like you guys to decide which one I do whether I play through as Toad or as Mario and Peach. Um, or I could try to gather two or three of my family members to play through multiplayer um, so that like one of us would be Toad, one would be Mario, one would be Peach, one would be Rosalina. Or again, one will be Toad, one will be Rosalina maybe, and then I'll play as Mario and carry Peach. Um, so it would just be three of us technically. But um, yeah, again, any suggestions on what you guys think I should do for the rest of the series would be greatly appreciated um, in, in that sense because again I'm not sure exactly which one I want to do uh, if no one just you know on the off chance that no one comments saying what they would like me to do then um, I'm probably just gonna go through as Toad and play through it all and then um, and then after playing through as Toad I might try to get uh, one of my family members or something to play the game with me and um, and then it'll be like a three-player thing, even though it's just two of us or something like that. Or maybe you actually get two more people and have a three-player or whatever. I don't know. But um, but yeah, so that's going to be for this season. Again, just asking you guys for your uh, advice on what to do. Um, it'll be a week or two before I actually start posting any more videos. Uh, because I want to, again, get them all recorded sooner. Uh, get them set to upload sooner so that everything's already set to go and I don't have to worry about missing any days, which again, I've tried to do in the past. I tried to do with this one, but uh, that didn't work, obviously. Um, so I'm definitely going to take at least a week off of posting, um, which means I'm going to be recording for some of that week at least. Uh, so again, any suggestions on what you guys think I should do would be greatly appreciated quickly um, so that I can actually take those suggestions into account and start recording sooner. Um, so I'll give you guys a couple days at least uh, to comment um, before I start recording anything. So yeah, uh, and then also Super Mario, uh, not Super Mario, uh, Mario Kart 8 
uh, pretty much the same thing. Um, mirror mode, can go through that as my second season of Mario Kart 8. But I'm not entirely sure if I want to do time trials as well, because I thought that it was a good idea in my head, but then, you know, now that I've been playing these games for so long, um, and actually, uh, I just realized something. After my farewell tour, I'm going to be doing one more little thing. That uh, gold Bowser train, uh, I'm going to be going to that. I should have been doing that for the, for the finale, but I'm just kind of showing you guys the overworld a little bit more and just how amazing it looks. I really like the symmetry in this world. It's not completely symmetrical, but um, it looks pretty nice. I like it. But um, yeah, anyways, let's just walk up to the castle just to show you that great view of the castle. But um, yeah, anyways, then I'm going to be going back to that... Uh, golden Bowser train thing uh, to show you guys what that is. But um, And then again, my favorite overworld, the giant carnival Bowser thing that was just so amazing. So cool. Um, so yeah, just gonna walk up here <laughs> over to the end. And I am kind of dragging this out on purpose. Uh, just that this video isn't too short. Uh, and that any suspense of whether or not I'm gonna beat that level on the first try isn't uh, dispelled right away. Anyways, I think it was level 5 where I go there. Um, let's see, I think it's this tunnel. No, not that tunnel. Uh, where is it that I get there? Um, no, let's see, map. Uh, is it world 4? It's odd that I don't remember uh, where you get to that point. Uh, that golden Bowser uh, train, because it's not necessarily on any of the levels. Um, like any of the, uh, it's not an actual level, it's kind of like a bonus level, or whatever, but then, no, it's, let's see, um, sorry this takes so long, but, uh, again, I don't want to, like, edit anything out, just so the editing is on the minimum, so it doesn't take as long to, uh, actually get this video out to you guys, um, because I might be posting these, like, all three on one day, I don't even know when I'm going to be posting these, <laughs> obviously you'll know by now, but, um, Dang it, there's no tunnel here. I was expecting a tunnel to be right here. Ah, um, let's see, let's skip to world six. Uh, I think it's here. Could be wrong though, but I think it's here. Nope, not here. Okay, <laughs> let's try another tunnel. Um, hmm. And again, uh, I know I'm dragging this out uh, longer than I need to, but um, maybe I'll just make that something like a little bonus episode or something later on. And I know it's not there. Or actually, maybe it is here. Is it here? He, uh, no. I was about to say yes, but but no. Um, dang it. I don't know where the tunnel is. <laughs> Why am I not finding it? Uh, is it it's like a one-up in here you can get. But then how do I get down there? Is there uh, one of those like um, things that you can interact with to get a tunnel? Or uh, is it up here somewhere? Or... I'm really confused at where this level is hiding. Um, nope, not there. It's a nice little view, though. But um, I think it is down here on this other level. Over here. I don't know why it's taking me so long to find it. Actually, I think I do see where it is. Right up there? No, that's just a mushroom house. Ah! Why is it so hard <laughs> to find this stinking level? I think it's here. This has got to be it. Yes, it is. Okay. So you come out here, finally, don't know why it took me so long, um, you can take this tunnel back to World 1, which again, it doesn't really make sense that they would have that tunnel here when you can just go to the map and go back, but I'm actually not going to go back because I want to go back to that little secret area, um, which again doesn't show up on any, uh, like on your map, that where I was like teleporting around, um, it doesn't show up here. So then now, here it is, the Golden Bowser train, which again, I should have shown you guys earlier. Um, at some point, which, like, it didn't even give a title for it, it's just some extra bonus stage where it's just very golden and coined thing. This is a much better area for, um, for, uh, whatchamacallit, for, like, uh, credits, like, my final thoughts on the game and all that. There's no, uh, no green stars, no, um, no green stars or stamps to collect in this one. Uh, oh boy, come on. Uh, throw that and hopefully not get hit by it on its way back, but um, I just get a bunch of coins. So many coins, this is a nice way to get a bunch of lives. And um, yeah, uh, not really sure what else to say, like, I want to give my final thoughts on the game and like my uh, review of it, but I really don't have anything like planned <laughs> in my head, like I didn't really 
think ahead for um, what I would actually say in any kind of review of this game. Uh, at least nothing more than what I've already said about it. But uh, anyways, let's see, let's get this coin. A nice little angle. And again, you can't like climb down here. I feel like there's something down here. Um, apparently not. Okay, there's just that one a couple of other coins, which I mean those three coins are tiny in comparison uh, to all the coins that I got early myself. And I like how I'm still little Luigi that are all this and oh look, it's one of these slot machines. Uh, which I am terrible at the slot machines, uh, clearly, because that's not how you do the slot machines. You don't just hit one after the other. But um but yeah, those slot machines, they're like a thing on the world that I never used. Um so yeah, that's that little level. Uh, I probably could have just ended with that rather than um, any kind of like farewell tour as I go through the overworld. But um, and then that that's the tunnel that takes you there. So anyways, I'm gonna go back to World Crown just to finish this off. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this season. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.